I was outside weeding. My hair looks crazy. Anyway, hi, Dumpsterinos and Frugalistas. One thing we get asked all the time regarding the dumpster diving, how are you guys anyway? Thank you and welcome to the video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. I hope you guys are well. Hi! So handsome. Look at his perfectly symmetrical face. Oh, oh, oh. Anyway, Dumpsterinos and Frugalistas. A lot of times people ask regarding the dumpster diving, oh my God, what if the food was recalled? Well, first, I have to say, I don't really care that much. Second, it's not that hard to keep on top of whether something's been recalled, okay? Again, I don't worry about it that much because I just kind of look at the odds and think, eh, how likely is it that this food was bad? But you can sign up for emails from the USDA and they will keep you updated all the time on foods that are recalled and why and where they were packaged and when they were packaged and what the code numbers are and why. And therefore it takes the guesswork out and you don't have to worry about it. And I don't worry anyway because I just, I just, I just don't think it's that big a concern, statistically speaking. But anyway, let me show you these emails you get. And that's how you deal with was it recalled? So look here, kittens. This is my email that I got from the USDA Food and Safety Inspection Service, their Daily Digest Bulletin. So if you really have an interest in recalled food, you can sign up to get this email from the USDA and they will let you know when something gets recalled. So look, Green Table Dining, blah, 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 blah recalls frozen pork dumplings due to misbranding and undeclared allergens. Well, I don't buy this product. I don't eat this product. I've never seen this product. Would I personally care about misbranding and undeclared allergens? No, because I don't have any food allergies and I don't give a crap about misbranding. So even though it got recalled, big deal. I mean, it might be a big deal to you if you have allergies, but not to me. Here's another one. This is an update because I got this one originally, I think maybe just, yeah, yeah. July 3rd. Tyson Foods ready to eat chicken due to possible listeria contamination. Now, the thing is, when the original email came out saying that this Tyson food product was being recalled, there, I think, had been two deaths from the listeria from this product. But I think the deaths were in May. So it's over a month since people died, and then they're finally recalling it. I kind of feel like the horse is out of the barn on this one. Like, wouldn't more people be dead by now? I mean, I'm not saying they shouldn't recall it. Go ahead, do what you need to do. Keep the public safe. But, I don't know. It doesn't concern me that much. But then again, I'm not a big Tyson ready-to-eat chicken kind of person. But anyway, that's how you can keep up with your recalled foods, if you care to. Now, until I signed up for these emails, I kind of relied on you guys to tell me when something was recalled, because I just didn't keep up with it, because I worry about it very much. So usually if we found something in the dumpster and people had heard about a recall, they would tell me in the comments. And either I had already eaten the food by the time the video went up and had survived, so no big deal, or I hadn't yet and you let me know there was a recall and I moved on from there with that information. But now I get the email, so the thing is, the thing is, the thing is, the thing is, this is a Tyson pre-cooked chicken product. So you see that, but then a lot of people be like, oh no, 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 don't eat chicken. Chicken's been recalled. But not all chicken's been recalled. Raw chicken hasn't been recalled. Other companies' chicken isn't recalled. Purdue oven stuff or roasters haven't been recalled, just this particular product. You decide for yourself how you feel about it and what you want to buy and what you want to eat. It really doesn't worry me that much. I always kind of figure, Eh, what are the chances? And then if I eat the food and it was recalled and I get sick, just like getting sick from dumpster food, it would be my own freaking fault. And I have never gotten sick from dumpster food. None of us have. I've said it many times. I've gotten food poisoning from other people's cooking and from restaurants. Oh, I have some lovely colon blow stories from food poisoning from restaurants but never from dumpster food because it's not that hard when you're preparing food yourself. I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but it's not that hard to smell food and figure out whether it's okay or not. Now, Listeria chicken, I don't know, maybe that doesn't have a telltale smell, you know? 
I don't really like to tell you the truth. I don't really like products like that anyway, like chicken that, like any kind of meat that's been seasoned, any kind of, whether it's cooked or not already, if it's been seasoned, I don't really like it because I don't tend to like the seasonings and the smell of them confuses my little nose when I'm sniffing to see if the meat's okay. I mean, that's why cuisines from hot climates have traditionally very spicy foods because they need the spices traditionally. I mean, before the days of refrigeration, they need the spices to sort of cover the flavor of meat that might be going a little bit off. I, I just, I just don't, I just don't care for a lot of special seasonings on things. I like to control the seasoning myself. Also, and I haven't really confirmed this or investigated it, but people always tell me recalled foods are not supposed to be thrown in the dumpster. They're supposed to be sent back to the company. It doesn't mean they're not going to end up in the dumpster. I mean, who knows? Someone might tell an employee, oh, that got recalled. Get rid of the Tyson chicken. And they just take it out of the dumpster. They don't know they're supposed to do whatever they're supposed to do with it. Maybe they aren't really supposed to ship it back. Maybe they're just supposed to destroy it. I don't know. I don't tend to worry about it. But in case you do, here's a way to keep up to date. Just sign up with the USDA for their food safety updates and what gets recalled and what doesn't. And you'll know why it's recalled and where the products came from and which batch they are. And there you go. And you can make your choices. Thanks for watching. I hope this answers any questions people might have had about what if the food's recalled. See you guys soon. Back in the dumpster.